Hello, everyone. I'd like to express my ex deepest gratitude to Dr. Gorea, uh, Indo-Pacific Academy of Forensic Nursing Science members, and my advisor, Virginia, for giving me this opportunity today. Forensic nursing in Japan is still a new nursing field today. Uh, I introduced the development of forensic nursing in Japan, focusing on the activities of the Japan Society of Forensic Nursing. First of all, let me introduce the Japan Forensic Nursing Society. The Japan was established at the end of March 2014. It was established in Tokyo by nurses who had completed the same training course. Dr. Naomi Kano, who has been the chairperson of the board since this inception, is a midwife. Similarly, I am the vice chairperson of the board and I'm a public health nurse. The founding members had a variety of experiences in supporting victims of violence. For example, as a midwife working in an obstetrics and gynecology hospital, one was in, involved in caring for women who were victims of domestic violence and rape, and one was also a volunteer counselor for hotline to support rape victims. At that time, I was also involved in establishing a shelter for women victims of domestic violence in the private sector and felt the difficulty of supporting victims. Many of the victims were not only unable to receive proper medical and nursing care, but were also exposed to misunderstanding and produced this. It was not uncommon for the nursing profession to have inadequate understanding of the victims, causing them to suffer secondary harm. We learned a lot from the victims' experiences, but more importantly, we needed to gain knowledge about the effects of violence and trauma, as well as skills in correcting and preserving evidence of harm. I'd like to introduce a little more about the situation of Japan before the establishment of the Japan in the past, and as is still the case in the world today, Japan was no exception to the myth that domestic violence was not a crime and was considered a lover's quarrel as the state was not involved in the private sphere. Uh, the private shelter for women victims of violence um, that I was involved with was established in 1994, but at that time, there was no domestic violence prevention law. In my work at the public health center, I was counseling women who were suffering from their husband's alcohol problems. Many of them did not know that their husband's alcoholism was a disease, nor that it was a recoverable disease. They did not have enough information about counseling and they were mentally and physically exhausted after enduring their husband's symptoms and violence for many years. Also, they thought that their husband's alcohol problems were a shame to them. In other words, the background was that the general society denied, denied the disease and there were not enough counseling institutions, specialized medical institutions, and law in place. 
The same is true for nursing care for rape victims. It was not easy for the nurses who wanted to support such victims to gain the understanding of the people around them or to recruit collaborators. Just as the victims become, became more isolated and alienated due to the trauma they had suffered. In 1995, I changed my job from a public health nurse to a university teacher. And I began to think about getting more information about nursing to support victims of violence. I searched the internet and found the website of the International Association of Forensic Nurses. So I gained a lot of information from there. At that time, I felt that there was no one in Japan who could share what I was thinking of, thinking. But I remember feeling very encouraged when I learned about the existence of the IAFN. I immediately became a member. The child abuse prevention law was enacted in Japan in 2000 and the domestic violence prevention law was enacted in 2001. I was also invited to the diet as a witness and expressed my opinion on the actual situation of private shelter management. Now I'd like to introduce some of people who have influenced, influenced the development of forensic nursing in Japan. First of all, Virginia Lynch, the first president of IAFN and an advisor of to the, this society. And she has been to Japan several times, but her first visit was to give an invited lecture at the International Forensic Science Society. The president of the conference was Dr. Shigeyuki Tsunenari, a forensic scientist at Kumamoto University. I was told that he had focused on the importance of clinical forensic medicine in Japan from early on and had been conducting research on the detection and protection of abused children. He passed away due to illness soon after his retirement from Kumamoto University. I'm very sorry to hear that. Another important person was Dr. Shizuko Sasaki, an obstetrician and gynecologist. She had opened an obstetrics and gynecology hospital in Tokyo by Women for Women, aiming to provide women and child-friendly medical care. When she learned about the activities of SANE from Canada, uh, she decided that it was necessary to train professional nurses in Japan as well and established the Support and Education Center for Women, Health and Safety, including the training of supporters other than nurses. The same training program in Japan started here and I completed the program in the second year after the center was established. Incidentally, Dr. Shizuko Sasaki is known for her investigation and testimony from the standpoint of victims in the Fujimi Hospital case that came to light in 1980s. In this horrific case, the president of Fujimi Obstetrics and Gynecology Hospital, who did not have a med medical license, conducted random medical examination and performed many unnecessary hysterectomies and at the luxurious hotel-like Fujimi Hospital in Saitama Prefecture, since the organs that had been removed were 
were left behind forensic physicians from the Tokyo Medi Metropolitan Medical Forensic Service and the National Defense Medical College investigated the case and found that most of most of the organs did not need it, need to be removed. However, it took 23 years for the lawsuit filed by the victims to be finally concluded, partly due to the fact that the director of the hospital and others had donated large sums of money to politicians. Next, I'd like to discuss the history of saint training in Japan. Dr. Sasaki proposed saint training in Japan based on the same program in British Columbia, Canada, and project was launched in 2000 at the Center for Education and Support for Women's Safety and Health. To date, 469 nurses have completed the course. In addition to this program held in Tokyo, ongoing programs are now being held in Nagoya and Osaka. Also in Akita, a training course was held in collaboration with the University of Nebraska in the United States. In the midst of all these developments, we asked Virginia and Jamie, leading figures in the IAFN, to give invited lectures at the Japan as well as at educational and research institutions throughout Japan, where out our members belong. After that, the Japan created the St. J Educational Guidelines and created the St. J certification system in 2020 in order to guarantee the quality of the same programs, improve the quality of professional certifications, and ensure social recognition. At present, there are 106 Saint J certified, certified nurses in Japan recognized by the society. This shows the purpose of the St. J system. There are four major objectives. For more information, please refer to our website. This is the organizational chart of the JAFN. The general meeting of the members and the board of directors are held regularly. Uh, the president and directors are elect, elected by the members. Currently, there are 11 committees, each of which is developing its own activities. Here are the activities of the Japan. Now, I would like to talk about the development of forensic nursing in Japan. It has been seven years since we launched our academic society. The term forensic nursing has gradually become known since we joined the Japan Council of ja Academic Societies of Nursing and published a textbook entitled, What is Nursing? What is forensic nursing? However, in terms of society as a whole, it is still limited. There is no provision for saying in Japanese law. And also there are some examples of victim, sub, victim support teams functioning effectively in hospital-based one-stop support centers for the correction of evidence from victims, assessment of damages, and nursing care provided by saints, 
the num number is still small nationwide. In addition, there are only a few cases in which saints are asked to testify about the actual damage in court. I think that the existence and role of saints and forensic nurses may not be well known to the judiciary. judiciary. The successful example of a hospital-based one-stop support center for victims I mentioned earlier is in Nagoya. This kind of systematic approach is necessary to respond to victim care around the clock. Furthermore, I would like to introduce an important members of society here, Jun Yamamoto, uh, Saint Jay and survivor. She has completed her master's degree in forensic nursing at Kyorin University in Japan. She said that her own experience was the driving force for her to learn about these things. So her, uh, yes. Now my lecture is coming on, coming to end. The Japan will continue to develop in order to enable us to provide the care that victims of violence needed. We are currently working to expand our membership to join the Science Council of Japan and encourage research activities of our members to improve the quality of our academic organization. For the further development of forensic nursing in Japan, we need more cooperation and collaboration with related organizations than ever before. I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to all of you for this opportunity and for your kind attention today. Thank you for all. Thank you so much.